Hey, Curl Fam. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. I think I haven't filmed anything for you in about two months. I had a lot going on and things are a lot better now. So I finally feel inspired to film again and share just what's been going on um, with my hair and give you really an update on how I care for my scalp. I don't think I've actually created a full on scalp care routine for you all. So I wanted to show you what I've been using you know, in the shower, at night, some of the things I've done before, but some of the things are new and you haven't seen. So I just want to share that with you today. I also want to give you an update because I went to the dermatologist back in August and I meant to update you in September, but of course I wasn't filming then. So I went to the dermatologist for my yearly um, skin check and I wanted to talk to them again about my hair because the year before I'd gone, if you remember, I talked about this last year, um, they said I was going through a uh, telogen effluvium which is very common for postpartum mothers, traction alopecia, and what was the other one? An andro, androgenetic alopecia, I think that's the name of it, um, which is more genetic stuff. The great news is that she told me that the areas that look a little bit more sparse are looking fuller again, which means everything I've been doing up until now is working, and that makes me very happy. I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the fact that um, you know, I stopped nursing. Gosh, I had my su my second son 2019, 2020. Yeah, so since 2020, you know, you know, the summer of 2020 till now, um, I've seen a lot of improvement. And I'm sure a lot of this just has to do with my hair recovering from having my baby, but also um, some of the things I've been doing at home. So for today, I'm going to show you my full scalp care routine. I'm going to show you the products I've been using, the tools I've been using, and just any tips I can help you out with. Any products and tools I talk about today, I will be sure to list them down below in the description box with affiliate links in case you would like to support me in that way. So I want to start with the cleansing of my routine. The first thing I use is a shampoo. If you watched my maybe two videos back, um, I talked about this shampoo. It's Pura de Or Original Gold Label Anti-Hair Thinning Shampoo. It says it's an effective solution for thinning hair. Um, it's got 17 proprietary herbal blends including red Korean seaweed, nettle leaf extract, biotin, can't pronounce this one, he shu wu, pygm bark extract, black cumin seed oil, salt palmetto, argon oil, and omelet oil. So I've been using this. I've really, really, really liked how this is working on my hair. It's very moisturizing. Um, I know that the uh, first ingredient is aloe leaf juice, so it's not water first. It doesn't contain any sodium lauryl sulfate, parabens, phthalates, um, artificial colorants, mineral oil, petroleum, common allergens, propylene glycol, form formaldehyde, metallic aluminum, triclosan, tuline. I think that's in nail polish. I don't know why that's on there. <laughs> Maybe it's in shampoo too. And it's not, uh, there's no gluten in it. It's cruelty-free, earth-friendly, and vegan for those of you that care about that. It's also color safe, so this is a really great shampoo. I think I remember talking to you all about like just wanting to try one brand um, on my hair. And I decided to just stick with this line because I had so much of the shampoo left. And I was like, well, let me just try the conditioner, the deep conditioner. And they also have a um, scalp serum. So I got also the Pura de Or Deep Moisturizing Biotin Conditioner. Super moisturizing. It's very slippery, great for my tangles. Um, a lot of the same no-nos. It states that it supports healthier, thicker-looking hair. There's apple extract that nourishes and detangles the hair and a bioactive blend that encourages a luxurious feel. Um, really happy with this as well. Very moisturizing. It complements the shampoo really well. From what I know, they don't have like a scalp scrub and I really wanted something that was clarifying in between the shampoo days. So I am just trying to use up the rest of this, but this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Scalp Care Cleansing Oil. It's definitely not a scalp scrub, but it cleanses so well and it's got um, Amazonian white clay and it just feels like it takes everything off. So because Pura de Or doesn't have a scalp scrub, um, my personal favorite one is the Briogeo Scalp Revival. I had to look it up on Sephora's website. Um, can you see it? Yeah. This one right here is my personal favorite. Um, 
It's a micro exfoliating shampoo, but you can just feel it lifting everything up. It's so good. And it, it just leaves your hair and your scalp feeling really clean. Um, but that's my personal favorite. A couple other scalp scrubs that I've used in the past and I really like are the Not Your Mother's Activated Charcoal Bamboo and Purple Moonstone. I think I said that backwards. <laughs> um, you can get this one at Ulta as well. It looks like this. Anyway, so I'm going to go back and talk about this one. This is a cleansing oil that gently cleanses and removes buildup while restoring natural oils. Um, like I said, it has Amazonian white clay, peppermint oil, and a superfood oil blend. Um, it goes on with this applicator here, and I'm going to show you how I use it today. And you just kind of put it into your hair. You're going to replace this with your shampoo, so you're not going to shampoo as well. This is going to be your shampoo. And trust me, even though there's oil in it, it's going to remove your buildup. It really does leave it kind of squeaky clean. As far as the deep conditioner goes, I've been using the Pura Dior Hair Thinning Therapy um, Intense Moisturizing Mask. These come in little packets. I don't know if I saw this at Ulta in like a larger uh, bottle or anything, but I did see it in packets, so I just went ahead and grabbed a couple of these. I've been using it pretty good. Um, I don't know how much of a difference I'm seeing. It's kind of a newer product for me, but I will circle back when I have used it for a longer period of time. The key ingredients include panthenol, retinol, biotin, caffeinated stimulators, and an exclusive powerful botanical blend. So not only is it going to moisturize and add luster back into the hair, it's also gonna help strengthen it. Okay, just have a couple more products to talk about. Uh, this being the Pura Dior Hair Fitting Therapy Energizing Scalp Serum. This one is the most exciting because as someone that has a finer texture and more low density areas, um, I really appreciate something that's like a serum that's not like a heavy oil. This doesn't leave a lot of like film or greasiness on the scalp, so this is really exciting. Now if you go back to my videos from like six years ago, you'll see that I used to talk a lot about this one product called the ORS Fertilizing Serum. Um, it looks something, this is actually new packaging. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it looks like this, okay. Um, this one has nettle leaf and horsetail extract. It also had cayenne pepper, and I remember I could feel the tingle when I put it on, and my hair, my edges, they grew back so fast, so fast. This was the one product that I, I f firmly stood behind that said, this is like the best I've ever tried. The one downside to it is I do believe it had parabens in it, I think. I'm going to have to double check. This looks like new packaging. I'm hoping that they changed that but because I'll, I'll go ahead and get it again. But I wanted something after that that didn't have the parabens. So I never got it again. But it worked so well. It was very fast. Why I'm excited about that and then this one here is because this also has the cayenne pepper in it. And that made me excited. I hadn't seen a product in a long time that had um, cayenne in it. And so I was like, okay score that's one thing i wanted in it now that i'm looking at the ingredients on amazon now i don't know if this is right because i'm going off of amazon details i'm not actually looking on the back of the bottle for the ors serum i'm not seeing the parabens on here but maybe someone else can tell me if they have it at home if it's still in there um maybe maybe that's what it, maybe that wasn't it i don't know but i do think i see dimethico maybe that's what i wasn't using i don't remember <laughs> so long ago but um it did work really well. That's one thing I will tell you. The other ingredient that got me really excited to use this was copper tripeptide one. Now, if you watched some of my previous derma roller videos and I had nurse Rachel on, I interviewed her because I wanted to get some more information from a nurse that actually um, uses derma rollers um, on her clients. And she gave me really good information, but I remember talking specifically about the copper peptides. And I haven't seen that ingredient in a lot of my products. So um, I was happy to see that not only does it have the cayenne pepper, but it has the copper peptides in it. So for me, this is a home run. I was like, oh, is this the magic formula? This is the one I've been waiting for my whole life. <laughs> um, and I've been using it and I really like it. But I will mention one product that has been really good to me all year and it was very affordable. This is the Hair Growth Company's 10 in 1 Hair Growth Oil. I finally used it all up, probably in September and mind you I got this back in January okay it lasts a really long time I think this was like $10 so this was money well spent hair growth hair regrowth does happen um, and I think it happened pretty fast for me within like two to three weeks I started noticing the new growth and just I edges I mean considering what I've been through 
over these last few years. I'm very happy with the progress, very happy. And I will say the combination of using all of these items, um, trying to just stay consistent on my diet, even though, you know, I slip up from time to time and my supplements, all of that stuff contributes to that. And then just lowering my stress levels because that obviously has a lot to do with it. When I am um, shampooing my hair, I'm going to move on to the tools here. I like using this Vita Goods shampoo brush. It's massaging. Let me turn it on, see if you can hear it. Can you hear that? <laughs> There's two speed settings. I usually go for the second one here. Okay, so I shampoo. I use this. I might use this like once a month, okay? Or something like the Briogeo one I told you about. But I'll use this the rest of the time. And I'll always use this with it. And that really just helps lift all the dirt and residue off of my scalp. When I do deep conditioners, I'm always going to put on a plastic cap. Like this, something disposable. One other thing I've been using, and I haven't used in a while, is the Kiri Do. This is a handheld vapor wand. It's going to help um, do a million things for your hair. Not a million, just a lot. So you can detangle with this. You can refresh your hair. Um, this just really helps open up the pores on your scalp. That's why I really like it for scalp therapy. So it also helps intensify your deep conditioners. A lot of options. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably steam your face from afar. But I really like it. I love that it has little spokes here to kind of detangle your hair. So that's been beneficial. I'm going to show you all of these. Um, very soon here in the demo. After I put my deep conditioner in, I run this through it, help really, you know, break up the tangles. I put on the disposable hair cap and my heating cap here. This is filled with flax seeds. This is by Glow by Day. So I like to put this in the microwave. I think it's a minute on each side or maybe 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I'll have to double check here. Um, and I think it's reversible too. Yeah, it's reversible. So you can do whatever side you want. But one is more like a terry cloth, so I usually put this on the inside. So yeah, I put this on, go about my business for about 30 minutes, and then after that my hair is doing really well. It's very smooth, very shiny, just super slippery, doesn't matter what conditioner I put on it. Because I want to be very gentle with um, the drying process, I do air dry most of the time. I use these Curl Keeper gloves, sometimes. Sometimes I use a um, microfiber towel, but these are cool. It's good for scrunching and stuff, so you can just kind of dry your hair like this. The last thing I like to do before bed is give myself a scalp massage. I've talked about this head massager before. You can hear it. It vibrates as well. It takes batteries. I think Hi Felicia mentioned this. Um, I think she uses it for maybe just fluffing out her curls, maybe for the scalp massage. I don't remember. But I have been using it around this area here. What I like to do is after my hair is completely dry, I like to use my Pure the Ore scalp here. Let me turn that off. And spritz it specifically in these thinning areas here, okay? And then a little bit here as well. I do put it throughout my head, but I am really more concerned about this improving. So I'll use my fingers first to rub it in, and then I will go ahead and take this and just kind of give myself a head massage. It's really good for headaches too, if you ever have a headache, so. So that's about it for all the products and tools and tips. I'm gonna go ahead and start the demo now so you can see how I cleanse uh, with the shampoo brush, how I deep condition with the Curie Do, um, how I add heat to my hair, kind of give you an idea how that works. And then after my hair is dry, I'm going to show you how I apply the scalp serum and massage my scalp. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start by getting our hair completely saturated with water in the shower. I want to make sure I rinse my hair really well before I add the scalp care cleansing oil. Next, I'm going to add the cleansing oil. I'm going to start by opening it up. It does have a nice, fresh, minty scent. I'm going to just kind of smooth this into my scalp and then use my fingertips to kind of massage it in. I really want to focus it up here on the front near my thinning edges, but we're also going to get the entire scalp. Before I use my Vitagood shampoo brush, I'm going to take my fingers and just really distribute it over my scalp. And then I'm going to turn on my Vita Goods shampoo brush and really massage the scalp care cleansing oil into my scalp. The tips on this are very flexible so they don't hurt your scalp. And it really helps, like I said, lift up all the buildup. Next, I'm going to rinse out all of the cleansing oil. And I'm going to move on to the Pura Dior Deep Moisturizing Biotin Conditioner. I'm going to take a few pumps here and I'm going to work it mainly on my ends at first 
It has a nice light herbal scent. You can see my hair is pretty tangled here, so I'm just gonna kind of smooth this into the ends first until it is very saturated with conditioner, and then I'll move my way up to the top. Now that I have a lot of conditioner on my hair, I'm going to start by gently finger detangling. Sometimes with the finger detangling, I end up removing more hair than I'd like. So I am gonna use this wide tooth comb and just start at my ends and work my way up to the roots here because these tangles are no joke today. It's time for a haircut, as you can see. Now I'm gonna take my time and make sure I get all of the conditioner out. Okay, so my hair is freshly cleansed and conditioned. I got the tangles out. I was going to do it just with the um, Kiri Do, but to be honest, the tangles were really bad. I had kind of a like long week with the kids, so I had my hair up in a bun for a really long time. And <laughs> so I just didn't want to depend solely on the Kiri Do. If it was like a normal wash day, I probably could have just used that to do the, the most of the detangling, but. I did. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I use the Kiri Do along with the newer mask by Pura de Or. So I'm just going to cut this open. This one you can leave on for about five minutes and you can use it about two times per week if you want. It's really, really thick and rich and super slippery. So definitely has a bit of an herbal fragrance, but it's light. It's not too heavy. It's really creamy. I'm going to start this on my ends. I'm going to do some finger detangling just to distribute everything evenly. And I'm pretty much using the entire packet. So if you're going to do it twice per week, then you're going to need to stock up. All right, so now I'm going to use the Kiri Do. So this has been heating up. Um, all you're going to do is press the button here. You'll hear it. You'll eventually see the steam start coming out. Okay, here comes the steam. Can you see it? Probably not. But I can hear it. So this is going to really intensify the deep conditioner. It's also going to open the pores on your scalp a little bit. Sometimes I just like to hold it back here. And let it run along the scalp. But you don't want to get too close because it can burn it. So we just kind of keep it back here. Now, if you have serious tangles, this will help detangle. But like I said, I wanted to do the majority of it in the shower so that this would go a little bit quicker. You'd be amazed at how much it just melts the tangles away, the steam. I also want to add that you want to use distilled water to fill your Kiri Do. Just making sure get that steam in there. So for now, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to cover immediately with the disposable shower cap so it locks in that heat. So what I suggest is getting a heating cap like this one. And this has already been in the microwave for I think 30 seconds on each side. You just want to kind of test it, make sure it doesn't get too hot. And then you're going to plop that baby on top. And that's really going to lock in the heat. So I'm going to plop this on for about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to rinse this out, style my hair, and then later on tonight I'm going to show you how I do my scalp massages and incorporate the Pura Dior Scalp Serum. Alright, it's bedtime, so I'm going to use the Pura Dior Hair Thinning Therapy Serum. I'm using my phone because I don't have my camera out now, but um, what you want to do is just shake this up really well. And I've already kind of put my hair to the side. And I'm just going to spray and really just kind of smooth it into the scalp here. And we'll do the same on the other side. Just kind of flip it over. The consistency is not oily. It feels kind of moisturizing actually. I like to give myself a little bit right here as well. So I just notice it's a little bit thin in these areas here. Okay, and that's basically where I place the serum. I could do it all over my hair, but 
I'm really trying to conserve the bottle and I want to focus it where I really need it. Um, for the rest of my scalp, I could use, um, because I ran out, I can't, but what I would normally use is the 10 in 1 hair oil, put a few drops within my fingertips and just massage the rest of my scalp. Um, what I'm going to do next is use the head massager. I'll grab that and I'll be right back. So I'm going to turn this on. And you can totally just use your fingers, but it's just a nice tool and it just feels really good, especially at the end of the night. This is normally something I would do in bed, but it's dark out there. There's light in here. You can see what I'm doing. Just trying to wake up the scalp here. And that's about it. I just wanted to share my scalp hair care routine. Um, it may feel a little extra for some of you, and it doesn't have to be. It's really just what I've been doing. Um, and I'm just using these products at this moment, but I'm open to trying new products always. That's just what I do here. If you found this video helpful, please let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you tried any of the products that I've been using today, like the Purity Ore, the 10 in 1 Hair Growth Oil by Hair Growth Company. Let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be looking forward to those. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.